Hey, ho, it's Suti and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Suti and Sweet and the Korsu and little cousin Shampoo. There'll be fun galore with the terrible boy. Just you wait and see. It's Suti and Company. Suti and Company. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Grab the bonus box of tissues, come on! Grab the cans, come on, get the cans! Come on, Dale, help them, come on! Shop until you drop! Come on, go wild in the hours! Come on, Dale, you can help! Oh. What is this silly thing to do? Oh, hello there. You know, there's an old saying, pride comes before a fall. Well, I think the modern version of that should be uh, portable televisions come before a fall. What a silly thing to do. Anyway, I've learnt a lesson. That's going in the drawer. You know, the thing is, those things are addictive, aren't they? Well, I mean, TV in general is addictive. There's one thing for sure, there's too much television watched in this house. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with watching good television. Actually, I'm glad that you are. But too much television can numb your brain. Ha! Huh, see what I mean about TV being addictive? Here are two addicts who are well and truly hooked. Talk about the TV generation. Why, when I was young, we used to... Do you mind? We're trying to watch the TV here. Well, yes, but that's my point, Sue. I was just saying... Listen, that... if you want to watch TV, then stay here and watch TV. But if you want to talk, then go into another room. All right, all right. Keep your fur on. Cool. Not only does TV numb your brain, but it makes you grumpy as well. Hey, I heard that. For your information, Sooty and I are not grumpy, and neither have we got numb brains. If you want to see a numb brain, then take a look in the loft. Well, no sooner said than done. Here we are, in the loft. But what did Sue mean about there being a numb brain up here? Aha! Is this what she meant? The family of mice? Well, I don't think that's strictly true. I mean, a mouse's brain isn't very big, but it certainly isn't numb either. Ah, now this is what she meant. Sweep. Uh, Sweep, you watch too much TV, you know. I mean, if you don't cut down a bit, you're going to make your brain even number than it is already. Your brain isn't numb? Well, it will be if you don't take a break from that TV screen. And another thing, you're far too close to the screen. It's bad for your eyes. It's like you're stuck to it by glue. You don't see other people stuck to TV screens like that. You do. Have a look in the dining room. What can he mean? Oh, I beg your pardon, Sweep. <laughs> now, that is what I call being glued to the TV screen. What a naughty boy that little pumpkin he is. Right, come on, you lot. I want you all to do... Oh, no, you're not watching the television, are you? Oh, shush, Matthew. We're watching you bet. <sighs> yeah, well, that's as maybe, Sue, but I, uh, I... Uh... Cool. Look at that. I, be... I bet he can't do that. I bet he can. No way. No way will he be... Hang on, hang on a minute, you've got me at it now. Look, let's turn this thing off. Oh. In fact, we'll do better than that. We'll take the batteries out, and that way you won't be tempted to turn it back on again. If we're not careful, television is going to take over our lives. Anyway, enough of this, Sooty. Take your glasses off and go and get washed. Go on, off you go. Matthew, what? do you think that Sooty could go upstairs to the bathroom, wash his face, and get all the way back down here in 30 seconds? What, all the way upstairs, mm -hmm. wash his face, and back down here in 30 seconds? Yeah. No, I doubt that, Sue, no. Well, I bet he can. Well, I bet he can't. All right, ready, Sooty? Ready, steady, go! And he's on his way! Now, will he do it? Now, this is a very difficult challenge. One slip, and he could lose it. He's doing very well so far. There's the water going on. Yes, and he's getting washed. He's getting washed. His face is going in the bowl. He's getting washed. Well done. Yes. Well, of course, no one said anything about drying, did they? And he's off again with the challenge. Come on, Sooty. Never mind shaking yourself. The clock's ticking. Come on, Sooty. Yes, come, come on, on Sooty. You can do it. Come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, yes, he's, he's done it. Me. Well done. Congratulations. Oh, I never thought you'd be... Whoa, hang on. What? Stop. What? Cut. What? Stop. Stop. What? Look, we're doing it. We're playing you bet. You see what I mean about TV taking over your lives? This household is television mad. Well, don't bite the hand that feeds you, Matthew. What, you mean, don't bite... Oh, I see what you mean. Television. I thought you meant don't buy 
Never mind. No, as I was saying before, Sue, it's all right watching television, but in moderation. It's just that it's got out of hand in this house. So, I have decided that we're going to go on a TV diet. There will be no more television watched in this house until further notice. What? No, I mean what I say, Sue. In fact, we're all to meet up in the dining room in ten minutes' time when there will be no television switched on. Instead, we're going to revive the ancient art of conversation. Right. Well, here we all are. No computer games, no comics, no pop music, but most importantly, no television, no distractions. This is the perfect atmosphere for a stimulating family conversation. So, perhaps you'd like to start. Uh, sweet? I said, perhaps you'd like to start. Start what? Well, start a stimulating family conversation. About what? I don't know. Neither do you. You. What? Is this it? Is this what? I mean, have we started? Is this a stimulating conversation? No, it is not, Sue. So... Forget it, Sweep. It's like talking to a brick wall, talking mm. to Sweep. Uh, Sooty, you, you, you're a clever little bear. Uh, would you like to say something? Uh, Matthew, Sooty hasn't said a word for the past 40 years. What are you hoping for? A conversation or a miracle? Frankly, they're much the same thing. Yeah, don't be sarcastic, Sue. <laughs> it suits you. Little Cousin Scampy, my little friend. Is there anything that you'd like to talk about? The economy, politics, the probability of coal fusion, the relevance of the wreath lectures in modern day society. It's no good. The lights are on, but there's nobody at home. Aha! Saved by the bell. Why don't you go and see who that is, Matthew? You could go and have a stimulating conversation with a customer. Yes, I could, Sue. I'm going to go and do just that. Oh, hello, Mo. Oh, hello, Matthew. Here. I thought you look like your horizontal holds on the blink. Horizontal hold? What's that? Oh, nothing. It's so much as goes wrong with your telly. Makes it go squidgy. That's what you look like. All such a squidgy. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about television because it's televisions that are making me go all squidgy. You know, television is ruining the art of conversation. Oh, do you know, that's just what Gail Platt said to Alma Baldwin the other night. Gail Platt? Who was Gail Platt? You know, Gail and Alma are working Jim's Cafe on Coronation Street. Oh, Coronation... Coronation Street. Look, I've told you, don't talk about television because television is ruining our lives. Oh, I agree. Grant was saying self same thing on EastEnders last night. You know that lot? They are just telly addicts. Oh, telly addicts. They're a great program. <gasps> Ooh, I'd like to put that little Noel Edmonds in a matchbox and keep it forever. Oh. All they want to do is just stay in all day watching television. The Goggle family, eh? Yeah, you could say that. They just want to stay at home doing nothing. Can't cook, won't cook. Exactly. You know, they just sit for hour after hour. How do they do that? Years of practice, Mo. Nay, surprise, surprise. So, have you got any, you know, advice for me? Can you help me? Aye, well, for starters, settle down, otherwise you'll have an art attack. Yes, well, that's good advice. What next? Well, you've got to play your cards right, Matthew. You've got to make them go out more. Let them see the world in action. Visit people. But like, like who? Well, neighbours, for a start. They've got to spend time both at home and away. Then there's a question of sport, lovey. Get them to play more games. Then perhaps your family fortunes will improve. But don't push them. They must have the right to reply. Listen to their points of view. Because after all, this is tomorrow's world that we're living in. And if you get it wrong, if there's a casualty, it'll be you that picks up the bill. Well, Mo, that's very kind of you. It's good advice, and I must say it's nice to talk to somebody who is not obsessed with television programmes. You bet. <laughs> and so, is there anything I can do in return, because you've been so kind? Well... well come, come on, tell me, tell me. Well, I don't like to. No, come on, Maureen, come on. Well, since you ask, yes? I am a new agent for a new TV cable channel, and I can sign you up for a 12-year trial contract. Uh, cable television? Ah. I'm afraid we're not on cable around here. Oh, yes, you are, pal. One cable. Just plug it in and away you go. The men will be around in a few days to put rest underground. Or, if you don't want cable, I can offer you a selection of dishes. What? Oh, aye. There's a casserole dish, a soup dish, a sauce dish and a soap dish. Listen, Mo, television is banned in this shop at the moment. As a matter of fact, I don't want more mindless drivel. We want to stimulate their brains. I, I know. This is why this is made for people like you. 
This is the new educational channel, designed to improve your mind. Nothing but educational programs only. Really? Aye. Nothing but informative, stimulating, mind-bogglingly boring long lectures. <gasps> I bet I never sell any. I bet I never do. That's where you're wrong, Mo, because this sounds ideal. Show me where to sign up. Come on, quickly, really? quickly. Are yes. You sure? With an educational television program, they can watch as much television as they like. As a matter of fact, they can watch TV till the cows come home. Just here. Great. Well, look at this. How about this for contentment? You'll be impressed to know that the educational channel is now installed and up and running. To be honest, the programs are too highbrow for me, so I've come to bed. But I'm a man of my word. So long as it's educational, they can watch TV till the cows come home. Well, there you are. The cows are home. But that hasn't stopped somebody from watching the new educational channel. Whoever it is must be very keen to be up at this time of night. I wonder who it is. <gasps> Gosh, just look, it's Sweep. Sweep is watching the educational channel. I wonder if he's learning anything. <sighs> oh, good morning, you lot. That was a good night's sleep. I think I'll just go and make myself a nice cup of tea. Take it back to bed with me. Do you know, it makes such a change to be able to... Sweep? Sweep, is that you? What are you doing here? <laughs> studying. Oh, well, that's all right. I thought you... Studying? What, you? Do you know what time of day it is, Sweep? <laughs> time is no relevance. <laughs> so it's who? <laughs> Professor Einstein? <laughs> Correct. What do you... You mean Professor Albert Einstein, the famous scientist? <laughs> what do, hang on a minute. What, what do you know about Professor Albert Einstein? Everything. Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on. How come you know about Einstein? <laughs> it was on the television last night. <laughs> oh, the educational channel. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. You mean one night of watching the educational channel and all of a sudden you're some sort of genius, is that right? Mm -hmm. Really, hang on. You actually think that you're a genius, do you? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh, 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 hello, Scampi. Excuse me, I've just, just heard something incredibly funny. It's a sweet thing to listen to. You think he's a second Einstein? I'll tell you something, sweet. Little cousin Scampi here could beat you in an intelligence test. <laughs> you accept the challenge? Oh. Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to Mastermind. We have two contestants for you this afternoon. The first is Sweep, and Sweep's specialist subject is uh, impossibly difficult questions that no one else can answer, but he can because he's a smarty pants. Are you ready, Mr. Sweep? Mm -hmm. No, Matthew, this isn't fair. Sweep's going to make a real wally out of himself. Oh, stop him. No, hang on a minute, Sue. Sweep's been telling porky pies. He brings he's some sort of super intelligent being or something. Well, I've got a couple of questions here that would take him down a peg or two. <clears throat> now, Sweep, you will uh, have one minute to answer questions. Are you ready? <coughs> of course. Very good. In that case, your time begins now. What's 152 multiplied by 89? <laughs> 23,104. Is that all right, Sotie? Get the calculator. Get quick. 23,100. It's correct, is it? <coughs> right. Uh, what is 95 divided by 17? 5.588. Check it, check it. Is it correct? This is amazing. <clears throat> Give a number that when divided by the product of its digits, the quotient is 3, and if you were to add 18 to this number, the digits would be inverted. 24. Check it. It's 
correct. You're joking. <coughs> what is 74,352 minus 13,258? 61,094? He's right. I don't believe this. This dog really is a genius. What is the square root of 126.3? I'll have to rush you. 11.238. He's right again. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, oh just a minute. Here's one that'll get him. <coughs> Give the value in monetary terms of a marine creature with eight tentacles who is feeling very unwell. <coughs> Never mind, pardon. I said... Give me the value in monetary terms. Weep, 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 weep. I've started, so I'll finish. I said, give me the value in monetary terms of a marine creature with eight tentacles who is feeling very unwell. You don't know? The answer is six quid. Six quid? Six quid! Marine creature, squid, tentacles, eight tentacles. I'm hey, Matthew, feeling very unwell. Hey, Matthew, six. Matthew, oh. cheating. Oh, come on, Sue. We can't let him get a perfect score. He'd be unbearable. Oh. Uh, very well, Mr. Sweeper, if you'd like to step down from the chair and let little cousin Scampy take your place. Well, it seems that Sweep has five correct answers and one incorrect answer. And now our next contestant is little cousin Scampy, whose specialist subject is anything so long as it's easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. So, Scampy, if you shake your head, I will take that as a pass and we'll move on to the next question. Do you understand? Very good. In that case, um, <clears throat> could we have the lights down, please? Very good, little cousin Scampy. Your time begins now. What is the name given to the gap between two mountains? Pass is the correct answer. And now we'll move on. What is the, would you call the action of sending a football from one player to another? Pass is correct. Next, what is the opposite of a fail in a school exam? Pass is the correct answer. Next, what is the name of a document that allows entrance to private areas? Pass. Well done. And finally, and if you get this one right, you've won the contest. What is the word derived from the French, which means old-fashioned or out-of-date? Pass. A? Eh? Pass A is the correct answer. You have won the contest. Please say hello to our new Mr. Mastermind, Little Cousin Scampy. <laughs> well done. Hard cheese, sweet. Hard cheese. Relax, everybody. The educational television cable channel has been returned and everything's back to normal. And this is what was causing all the trouble. A bit of cotton wool? Yes, you see, Sweet got it stuck in his ear when he was getting washed last night. Ooh. What? What difference does that make? Well, since he had one ear blocked up, then everything that he heard on the educational channel stayed inside his head. <laughs> yeah, but now that we've removed the cotton wool, mm -hmm. everything goes in one side... And straight out of the other. Exactly, Sue. I'll prove it. Uh, Sweep, who is the famous scientist you were learning about earlier? <laughs> Mr. Blobby. See what I mean? <laughs> and is Scampy still Mr. Mastermind? Uh, no, actually, Sue, because we're going to have no winners and no losers in this house. As a matter of fact, I think I prefer Sweep the way he is. Mm. And now you're going to have to excuse us because we have a very important date. We're going to watch a video. The extremely uneducational, but nonetheless award-winning... Sooty and Co. Go on, Sooty. <laughs> 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 <laughs>